Hi friends, welcome back to DC Grandma Tips. In this video, I will share with you how you can become free from high blood pressure. As we all know, high blood pressure has become a common health problem that every home is facing today. It not only spoils the patient's health but also the environment of the home. So we will see on those natural remedies that help you to overcome high blood pressure. Firstly, we will focus on yoga. Practice relaxing asanas like Shishuasana, Vajrasana, Paschimottanasana, Ardha Matsyendrasana, Baddha Konasana, Setu Baddhasana, Ardha Halasana and Shavasana. Regularly practicing all these asanas helps in controlling and relaxing your body cells and supports easy blood flow to all parts of your body. Do various pranayamas after asanas like Kapalabhati, Pastrika, Anulom Vilom, Brahmari and Deep Yogic Pranayamas to help you in controlling your BP. On performing various pranayamas, your mind gets calm, body feels relaxed which results in easy blood circulation in your body. Remember one thing, deep relaxation is the key to fight high blood pressure. Hence it is highly essential for you to practice yoga and pranayama regularly. One more important point to note here is to avoid poses like Shirshasana and Adhomukha Prakshasana. These asanas makes way for sudden quick flow of blood to your head as your head will be at lower level than your heart. It leads to worsen conditions of high BP. Now we will see what is that you need to add in your diet chart. Spinaches Spinach is a storehouse of potassium. Potassium helps nullify the adverse effects of sodium in your body through urination. In addition to potassium, spinach contains heart-friendly nutrients like folate and magnesium. The leafy wonder is also a good source of lutein. Lutein is instrumental in preventing thickening of walls of arteries that helps reducing the risk of strokes and blood pressure. Among spinaches, amaranth is the must. It has good amount of calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, selenium, folate, choline, lutein and zeaxanthin, which are all very helpful to overcome high BP. Second is berries. Consume berries, especially blueberries, as they are rich in natural compounds called flavonoids. While all berries contain anthocyanins, blueberries have one of the highest levels of it. What anthocyanins does to your body is, it improves the functions of endothelial cells in your body. These cells line the inner surface of blood vessels and help with blood flow and blood pressure regulation. Endothelial cells act as a blockade between the lymph or blood and the surrounding body tissue in addition to playing a key role in blood pressure regulation and clotting. Blueberries also prevent people from developing hypertension. So consuming 200 grams of blueberries daily improves blood vessel function and decreases systolic blood pressure. Next is red beets. Beets are naturally a good source of high levels of nitrates which convert it into nitric oxide during digestion, hence making it a perfect veggie for high BP patients. This compound relaxes and widens blood vessels which results in lowering blood pressure. Drinking a glass of beet juice can lower your high BP within an hour. Regular intake lowers the risk of heart disease while it needs to be used cautiously as it may lower blood pressure drastically with overconsumption. So fix this in your diet with best intervals. Next one is bananas. Bananas are a super good dietary source of potassium. Potassium in bananas help in flushing out sodium, eases tension in blood vessel walls, maintains fluid and electrolyte balance in your body where all these helps controlling your blood pressure. Having two bananas every day for a week's time reduces your high BP by 10%. Small bananas contain 362 mg, medium sized bananas are about 422 mg while large bananas have 487 mg of potassium. Choose bananas without dull grey undertone and do not eat at night. Patients of kidney disorder must avoid eating bananas. Another important ingredient is garlic. Garlics are being used to cure BP naturally since time immemorial. Allicin, a compound present in garlic, is responsible for garlic's blood pressure lowering properties. How actually it works is, 
Allison prevents the production of angiotensin 2 that is responsible for increasing blood pressure by causing your blood vessels to tighten up or contract. This makes it easier for your blood to flow freely in turn reducing your blood pressure. Allison also increases production or availability of hydrogen sulfide and nitric oxide, two compounds essential for regulating your blood pressure levels. Consuming garlic ensures regulation of endothelial nitric oxide and induces smooth muscle cell relaxation, vasodilation of your BP reduction. Garlic helps in reducing both systolic and diastolic blood pressure levels by up to 11.2 mmGh. So don't forget to add it in your daily diet food. Next is cocoa powder. The flavonoids in cocoa powder produces nitric oxide which helps blood vessels to relax and lower your high blood pressure. It has high levels of compounds called catechins and procyanidins both affecting blood pressure. The flavones in cocoa stimulates the endothelium, the lining of arteries to produce nitric oxide. This sends signals to the arteries to relax which lowers the resistance to blood flow and therefore reduces blood pressure. To put it much simpler to you, it opens the blood vessels and lets blood flow to become much easier. Don't consume more than 35 grams per day. You can have it in the form of tea. In case you need the recipe, you can comment in the comment section. Hibiscus tea Hibiscus tea is a very ancient remedy to treat high blood pressure in traditional medicine. Drinking this tea helps your body to fight germs and keeps your blood vessels open and clear of clots. What makes this tea so powerful is its diuretic properties. It opens the arteries and appears to act as a natural angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor which means it slows down releasing of hormones that constrict blood vessels. Hibiscus even boosts your immune function and provides valuable antioxidants. Hibiscus tea contains anthocyanins and other antioxidants which help blood vessels resist damage that can cause them to narrow. Having this tea lowers both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. However, don't drink this tea if you are taking hydrochlorothiazide to prevent its interaction with drug. Tulsi Tulsi or basil works miracles in lowering your blood pressure. The compound you can all present in Tulsi fights the substances that tighten the blood vessels which helps in decreasing blood pressure. It is valued as an adaptogen that's something that helps your body in adapting to stress. This balances stress hormones such as cortisol. The best way to consume Tulsi is by adding it to your regular tea or making Tulsi tea by adding Tulsi leaves in boiling water. It is best to add honey instead of sugar. Bottle guts. As bottle guts are highly rich in potassium, you can add it to your diet chart in the form of juice which helps in regulating your blood pressure. Make sure it is not bitter as bitter ones should not be consumed. Also note that adding salt can take away all its nutrients. Next is green coffee extract. Green coffee beans are coffee seeds of a coffee fruit that are unroasted. The roasting process reduces levels of chemical called chlorogenic acid. Green coffee beans have a higher level of chlorogenic acid compared to regular roasted coffee beans which can lower high blood pressure. It modulates blood pressure by promoting the effects of nitric oxide and by reducing blood homocysteine levels. It helps in suppressing macrophage infiltration by remodeling your blood vessels. And this is how you can consume green coffee. Add 1 tablespoon of green coffee powder to a cup of hot water. Leave it for around 5 minutes and strain it. You can add a pinch of cinnamon powder if you want to and drink it 1 hour before your meals. Don't drink more than 1 to 2 cups a day. Coconut Water Potassium, one of the electrolyte found in coconut water, helps lower your blood pressure. It helps reduce the impact of sodium that has on your body and reduces the tension on walls of blood vessels which in turn helps lower your blood pressure. Next is Bale. Bale is abundant in potassium and a boon for people suffering from hypertension. It prevents the arteries from hardening thus reducing strokes and prevents heart ailments. This rich potassium in Bale helps to eliminate sodium through urine and also eases the tension on blood vessel walls which helps in lowering the blood pressure and treating various symptoms of hypertension. Finally, it is essential oils. Essential oils helps in reducing your stress levels that can release cortisol and other hormones that raise your blood pressure. 
when you smell an essential oil the feel good hormones get released reducing the stress this automatically helps your nervous system to activate the parasympathetic nerves which acts as a break and calms your body essential oils such as sage rose ginger black pepper and turmeric can help reduce the blood pressure by widening the arteries and decreasing inflammation remember exposure to essential oil vapor for longer than 1 hour at a time is harmful for your cardiovascular health so don't overdo it so friends these are the remedies you need to take care of to get rid of high bp try with these for some time and share your experience thank you for your watching time think healthy eat healthy and live healthy don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on your views in the comment